it's time to examine some of the tools in Photoshop that a photo restorationist would probably use every day, and they're so used to using them, they probably can use them in their sleep, like the clone tool and the spot healing brush tools, the patch tool, some of these tools that are just our bread and butter. I want you to go into your exercise files for chapter three, and I want you to open up glass plate. Old glass plate image. Got some damage. Thankfully, it's not in any major detailed areas. Otherwise, we'd have a big problem. We got a bunch of little things I want to fix. I don't want the number down here anymore. This photograph was taken about 1885. I mean, that in the United States wasn't too much longer after the Civil War. Lots of industrial stuff going on. Really neat photograph. Got steam coming out of pipe here. But it's a very good glass plate image. I want to correct some of these problems real quick for you. What we have, though, is a problem. Now, we did this in the previous chapter, but we're going to do it again. If we go to the word image and go down to the word mode, it's grayscale. I need to convert this thing into a color image so I can use stuff over here. So take it to RGB. That will give us three channels. But if you remember, if you did do the previous lesson, we have to adjust those just a little bit. Now, the red and green and blue will all be exactly the same. In this case, I don't want to make the red layer any lighter. It's fine. But this one needs to be darker, and then this one darker still. So let's go to green. Let's go into the word image and go down to apply image. That's too much for the green. So I'm going to knock the opacity or its control over that layer by 50%. Click OK. Now blue, let's go to blue. And this time we'll give it 100%. Image. Apply image. 100% is fine. Click OK. Once you kind of get this down and you even have these old glass plates like these grays, you can still do good color work on them. Or you can work with them as if they were in color. Now, I like that color. As a matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to get rid of that color. I'm happy with that. But we now have an RGB image, which means we can use stuff that we couldn't use before. Let's start, though, going back to layers. I would strongly suggest to you that you work on a copy. I mean, that makes common sense. So I'm going to press Command J, and that's going to give me my copy, which is exactly what I want. Now I can kind of do a before and after thing, or if I really mess it up, I've got control. Let's start with these areas up here. We're not going to do a whole lot. I just want to kind of introduce you to these tools. If you're using, oh, say Photoshop 5 or above, I want to take this tool right here, which is my marquee tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle around that damage up there. I'm going to go to the word edit on the pull-down menu and go to fill. Now, this is 555. Five, five. Use content aware. Click OK. I love that feature. I mean, that is just amazing. I mean, you can't tell that was ever there. You say, Andy, I don't have 5 or 5.5. .5. I've got 4 or, or 3 or whatever. Well, there are a lot of other tools we can use. For example, you do have the clone tool right here. All versions of Photoshop have that tool. You've got a pattern and a clone. Go to the clone stamp tool. Now the clone stamp tool basically allows me to select an area and use that to patch the other area. So say if I get right about here and say I want to use this stuff to cover that. I have to hold the Alt key down. That's the Option key on a Mac, same key, different name, and click your mouse one time. That sets the point that it's going to use. Now, if I move over to about here and begin painting, see that plus sign? That's what it's painting over here. That's not really too bad. We'll worry about that later because we're going to use this image again. We're going to save it and use it again. So we can, we can live with that. But if we had used Content Aware, you wouldn't see that. That's why I like that tool. Now, let's come down here. Let's actually make that a little bit bigger. That's kind of small. For this print, I don't want that number on there. I mean, it's valuable to the image, but I don't want that there. And it was scraped into the glass. We're going to use something called the Spot Healing Brush Tool for this. So I come over to about here, and I just kind of come down and drag and let go. And you'll notice I actually did it. Now, what is it doing? The area that you paint is going to be surrounded by something else. What it does is it looks at the surrounding information and tries to match the tonal quality and the pattern to what you're putting it over on top of. Now, we could continue the process of using that tool, but I want to show you as many as I can right now. And I'm going to show you another tool called the Patch Tool. Now, the Patch Tool 
allows me to select an entire large area like this, just use it like a selection tool, and then get inside there and drag it over the area that you want to patch it with and let go. It's actually not too bad. Let's go back over here. And we also have another tool called the Healing Brush tool. The difference between the Spot Healing Brush and the Healing Brush is that the Healing Brush tool will take a pattern based on where you alt clicked. The Spot Healing Brush tool does it automatically. And so if I come over here and say, well, I need this right here, I'm going to alt click, and that's option click on a Mac. I'm going to say, use that pattern over there to fix that. I can come back over a little bit more higher. As you can see, it's using that pattern, but it's different than the clone tool because in the clone tool, it's using the exact same information. And in this one, it's still trying to blend it for us. Now, if we go back, say, for example, to the spot healing brush tool and we get back up into the sky, there are a lot of what are called JPEG artifacts in this, which we'll deal with later. But this tool, all I got to do is start rubbing around. I love the spot healing brush tool. All you got to do is just tap it and move away and it'll just clean up just about any problems that you have. Now this item or this glass plate does have some problems to it that we're going to fix in another lesson in this chapter. So what we've done is we've looked at the clone tool, the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, and the patch tool. And don't forget content aware if you've got version 5 or 5.5. And in the end, let me go ahead and take that back down so we can see it. If we turn this one back off again, as you can see, we have done quite a few things up to this point. So let's stop, go to the word file on the pull down menu and go down to save as. Don't save, keep the original. Let's do a save as. And we'll call this glass plate two. I'm going to put it in the same folder as my exercise files so it will be easy to find. Glass plate two, make sure it's a PSD and go ahead and just click save. Cool. On to the next.